Let's say, you have created some models like this, and you have also created some unique material for these models, using the powerful shader editor in Blender. Sometimes, it can be very complex. For example, here is the node setup for our material, and these kind of nodes may not be available in some other 3D modeling software. So you may want to export this material as a texture, or maybe you want to export these models altogether for some other software. But if you use the export options like these, you will often discover that the material is not exported correctly with the models. So in this tutorial, we'll learn how to export a procedural material from Blender as a simple texture file, which you can then use in another place, maybe in another 3D software. First, let us hide these objects from this scene. And we need to hide them also in the render. If you don't see this render icon, head over to this filter menu and enable this render option here. Then you'll see this render icon and we need to disable it. Now, let us go to the add menu and just add a plane. We will assign the same material also for this plane, so go to the materials tab and select the same material from this list that we created for the pipe objects. Now we'll export this material by baking it into a texture file. So let us select this plane object and then open the shader editor from here. We have all these node structure for our material and somewhere over here, we have to add a separate node, which is an image texture node. And we need to ensure that this image texture node is not connected to any other node. It should be a standalone node. Now click on this new button. Here we are creating a new texture file, so you can give it just any name, whatever you like. And these numbers will control the dimensions of our output file. You can change it as you wish, they need not be same. You can use a rectangular size as well, but it works best when we use a square profile. If you want, you can also enable this 32-bit option to capture the fine details, which may be required if you are creating a normal map. Finally, click on this OK button. Blender will store the output texture using this image texture properties. Now go to the Render Properties tab. We have to switch over to Cycles, because this works only with the Cycles engine. Then let us expand this Bake section. Here, in the Bake type, you'll see many options available. For example, you can bake a UV map from here, or a roughness map, or maybe a normal map. But we'll go with the combined option. And then, we have to disable these two lighting options, so deselect both of them. We don't want any light and shadow effect on our texture, we just want the original color information to come from this node setup. Now, ensure that this image texture node is selected, you'll see a white border around the node when it is selected. Now we can start the baking process. The progress will be reported here. Once the baking is complete, we need to open an image editor from here. And from this dropdown, we'll open the same file called Untitled. So this is the baked image of our material, but this is currently stored only in the system RAM. We need to save it to the disk, so choose an appropriate location and save the image. It will be saved as a simple image file in that location. Now you can use it just like any other texture file for any material, and in fact, if it is really good, you can even put it on sale and earn some dollars as well. So we learned how to convert your complex node tree into a simple texture file. I hope you like this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.